Have you ever had those days where you just can't shake that feeling? Uh, uh, the, the, the something's about to happen, and I don't necessarily know, obviously, what that something is or if my feelings mean anything, but ever since Nintendo did all those events in August, it's really felt like they've had something up their sleeve in 2024, something besides a partner showcase, a indie world, and a Nintendo Museum Direct. Like they packed all that into August. Meanwhile, Nintendo has no official game set with a release date past Donkey Kong Country Returns HD in January. And that is very, very, very unlike Nintendo. Now, naturally, we've been speculating a ton on a potential Nintendo Switch 2 reveal in 2024, but more and more and more, it's crossing my mind that actually we may be getting a direct. Now, there is a small bit of chatter, albeit not by insiders, about there possibly being a Nintendo Direct on the horizon, maybe as soon as this month. And we'll at least briefly mention that towards the end of this video. But this video is not news. This isn't a rumor. This is a discussion video talking about a potential Nintendo Direct this year and what that could look like both if it happens to just be focused squarely on Nintendo Switch because hey we haven't talked about games in a while and there's a lot of potential future games Nintendo could be still wanting to announce for Nintendo Switch and yes obviously the possibilities of it being a Switch 2 focus direct or even a combo of both if they decide to go in that direction we'll talk about the possibilities for when this could happen at least based on the way we currently understand things today and you know what we have to dive into this because we're on a road to 140,000 subscribers. Okay, that's not actually why we have to dive into this, but we are on our road to 140,000 subscribers. We're at right around 136,500, so maybe it's still attainable to get to 140K by the end of the year. That being said, if you're enjoying the video and want more Nintendo news, speculation, and all of that, man, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel. All right, let's go ahead and get into this because uh, I have a few, a few little notes to go over. Uh, one thing in particular is the possibility of a direct is is always out there usually they do a general or some sort of mini or some sort of event in september and they didn't do that they pushed everything into august which kind of just left a lot of shrouded mystery around the rest of this year and as i said a lot of it's been assumed to be well it must be switch 2 related in fact the fact that nintendo doesn't have any games slated for february or march right now despite the fact that metroid prime 4 beyond is announced for next year as is legend za but both are not suspected to come out this fiscal year which does mean right now nintendo has nothing coming out after january for february and march we sit here and we wonder what the hell is going on now look if switch 2 is meant to launch in march which some people still think uh, if that's the case that could actually just explain everything but what if in reality nintendo does have a direct coming it's just not coming when they traditionally do them now this month could make a lot of sense for a Direct, and in fact, next week could make a lot of sense for a Direct, because you could advertise Mario Party Jamboree, Mario and Luigi, of course, and you could go ahead and advertise Donkey Kong Country HD, but even more, like if we just talk about the possibility of a Direct Mini or a General Direct still happening this year, whether it's this month, November, or December, and I'm going to tell you right now, if it's a Nintendo Direct we're about to get, this month or December, those are kind of the two months I'm looking at where Nintendo could do that, because a Nintendo Direct in December would obviously just be set up their first half of next year uh, it doesn't really interrupt anything with holiday sales so when i look at the possibility of a switch focus direct these are kind of the games i think could potentially be in that direct now, you're going to hear a lot of remakes and remasters in here potential of a couple new games but that seems to be what they've been doing this fiscal year right so kind of feels like it just falls right in line with what nintendo's strategy is with switch moving forward so obviously we have to mention you know the wind waker and twilight princess hd uh, you know, they've just been forever rumored for the system. Maybe they exist, maybe they don't, but that's a thing out there. Metro Prime 2 and 3 HD as well. A lot of people think that Metro Prime 2 and 3 HD will arrive before Metro Prime 4 Beyond, so they have between now and whenever Metro Prime 4 Beyond comes to announce those games. Uh, there could be a new Kirby side-scrolling game, because we do get Kirby games quite frequently, or maybe even a remake or remaster of something like Planet Robobot. That's just one that I'm kind of banking on if they go with the remake or remaster route with a Kirby game also got to remember we have that rumored new donkey kong game now for a couple of years maybe that is something they want to launch after donkey kong uh returns hd i, I think that 
if that's the case, it won't be an early 2025 game. It would be a later in 2025 game announcement to go along with Metroid Prime 4 Beyond and Legend Z8, which they could also show off again in a Nintendo Direct. Now, that's just sort of, you know, a, a handful of games, you know, enough to put together a Direct Mini or even a bigger General Direct if you combine in third-party announcements and indie titles like they typically do, even though they've already had a partner showcase and an indie world back in August. A lot of that stuff, you know, could be repeated or there could be even new announcements going out into 2025. Now, obviously, the other direction a Nintendo Direct could go in is Nintendo Switch 2 related. It could be a Nintendo Switch 2 Direct where they call it a Direct because they decide, you know what, a four-minute, five-minute trailer isn't enough. We actually need a full-blown presentation where we go over the console, what makes it stand out from Switch and why it's different, the operating system, the eShop, all the little features. Oh, and by the way, we got start to actually go in-depth on the games, both launch games, third-party, indie, and obviously, you know, first-party internal. And then even at the end of it, you just tease a really big game that's slotted for, you know, six months or so after launch. And maybe it's a Mario Kart, maybe it's a Zelda, Ocarina of Time, remaker who really knows right it could be one of a billion things when you get to a new generation of nintendo literally all their ips are on deck it could be anything i think other than a brand new uh you know open world zelda game i think that's probably one of the few ips that we could just be like, yeah, okay that's probably not happening probably not splatoon 4 either i don't think that's going to be year one anyways we just wrapped up the final Splatfest for splatoon 3 so i don't think we're going to suddenly have splatoon 4 ready for next year could be wrong on that front they have had quick turnarounds with splatoon before but i don't think we're going to get a year one splatoon 4 that feels like a year two or year three game that being said uh everything's on slate Anything is possible. And that's what's so cool about a Switch 2 dedicated direct is you can have a 20-minute Switch 2 direct that just goes over a ton of stuff. Now, the other option, and maybe this is even a more likely scenario in the event they do a direct, is it's actually not a dedicated Switch direct or a dedicated Switch 2 direct. It's a combo direct where, yes, they introduce Switch 2 and they show us some stuff, but they also remind people that, hey, we're not done with Switch. And then all those games I mentioned are the kind of things that they still announce anyways for Switch, maybe even with enhanced editions for Switch 2 if it happens to come out after Switch 2's release date. But I'm just throwing that out there as it could be a combo direct as well. Now, again, we don't actually know that there will be a direct, but conversations are swirling out there. And this is where we get into, uh, I don't want to call this guy an insider. I mean, he, he literally says he's not one. Uh, but we have this guy, Pablo, over at uh, P4LB0, uh, over at Family Boards. And I put up a post today. For some reason, there, there was this dude over on the Gaming Leaks and Rumors right at that just was spamming like every single post this guy puts up as if he's an insider. Kind of weird. Uh, now, Pablo does uh, admit, or at least he claims, that he does work in media, but just not games media. But he does have a few contacts in games media. And he basically said in a post uh way early this morning that hey uh he's hearing a lot of smoke so a lot of chatter around a nintendo direct and i think he was was hinting at this month i'll show the tweet on screen uh and you know he, he's uh you know said that his hype and expectations for something switch to related or something this month they're at like a 20 but again that doesn't really mean literally anything uh we all are pretty hyped i mean my i, I think at this point my hype for a reveal in october is probably over nine thousand. but uh I, I do think it's just interesting that you know whether or not that chatter is true or not we have obviously paul gale who while he's you know guessing at an october 10th reveal for switch 2 uh he himself has heard some chatter behind the scenes so it, it's kind of one of those things where there's a little bit of smoke out there just some little tidbits here and there not like the most reliable guarantee and there's going to be a direct or a switch to reveal sort of stuff but just sort of some chatter and i feel like the chatter is just going to keep picking up the closer and closer we get to the end of the year because uh, i do think nintendo's doing something i don't know what that something is it could just be a game direct uh, a, a big reminder and this is going to be one reason why you might expect a direct or a switch to reveal or both in one uh this month Nintendo does have an investors meeting on November 11th, and this one does include a Q&A session. And remember, they haven't had a Q&A session at an investors meeting since they announced that the Switch successor is coming. It's just sort of a reminder that Nintendo has to know that their next massive Q&A at an investors meeting will have a lot of Switch 2 related questions because they said they're going to be announcing it this fiscal year. And 
investors are going to be antsy as hell if they go to this meeting and there's nothing announced past January. I do think, just for the sake of Nintendo's investors, that even if Switch 2 is not revealed this month, there has to be some sort of event announcing a solid plan for the first half of next year because investors do not like heading into the holiday season knowing that, hey, once we get past the holiday season, dude, Nintendo ain't got shit. Uh, that's not a good look for Nintendo. So even if a Switch 2 reveal isn't imminent and isn't about to happen, I do think a Nintendo Direct of some type is just because Nintendo needs to have something for the first half of next year. And it's very rare for them to enter a year with no plans for the first half beyond January. So I do think that you know expecting an event uh, would be you know, apropos for Nintendo, uh, just to make sure their investors are satisfied and obviously make sure that they have a clear roadmap. Because remember, they plan to sell 13 and a half million Switches. They got to sell some of those after the holidays. To do that, you got to have games. And I don't think Donkey Kong Country Returns HD is going to be like a massive system seller for them after the holiday period. So I do think that Nintendo clearly has to have some sort of plan for February and March. And they got to reveal that plan, I think, before we even get to 2025. Just some food for thought. Uh, you guys let me know what you think about the potential of a Nintendo Direct this year, whether you think it's going to be this month, November, December. Do you think it's just crazy to even talk about this? There's no way Nintendo has any sort of Nintendo Direct plans, even if it is just a Switch Direct that has no negative impact on the holidays. In fact, helps advertise holiday stuff, maybe even announces new holiday bundles, and also gives us a game roadmap for 2025. I don't know. Maybe I'm a, a little crazy thinking that this is a thing that should happen, but I, I don't think I'm that crazy. With an investor's meeting on the horizon, I sort of feel like now's the time to talk about this kind of thing. Not because we have any rumors or speculation, get a little smoke out there, but nothing. this isn't news. But it is worth thinking about. I am Nathaniel Rumpeljance from Nintendo Prime. Wearing my Pikachu shirt, baby, because I do think some Legend ZA news before the end of the year is coming, and I think it's at our direct. Catch you guys in the next video.